Daily Devotion with Pastor Ball of with for March 14th, 2022 from Acts chapter 11, Change in the Church. For many, change is a difficult thing, even in the church. Keep this in mind as we hear about the gospel going out to the Gentiles. We previously heard about that, but yet you could say the memo didn't quite reach everyone yet. So we continue with Acts chapter 11, verse 19. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephan traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except Jews. So many of the Christians were still only proclaiming Christ and him crucified to the Jewish people. So before memos and emails, how do you communicate with people? And the answer to that, you communicate to them one-on-one. -on -one. That is personally, from Acts chapter 11, verse 20. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. So, yes, the gospel message is being reaffirmed by God with special signs. But what needs to happen is somebody to go and proclaim Christ to all people, not just to the Jewish people or the half-Jewish people, but also to those who are 100% Gentiles. Verse 22 the report of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. Barnabas saw what God was doing through the Gentiles, and that moved his heart. And you would see what he would do next. Verse 25, So Barnabas went to Tarshish to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. So Barnabas went to look for Saul. Why? Because he knew Saul was a good teacher and a good debater. And so the, that's what the early Christians needed to know. They needed to learn more and more about our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And by the way, also at Antioch, the Christians were first given that name. And that name, Christian, has stayed with them, us, I should say, ever since. Verse 27, Now in these days prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them named Agabus stood up and foretold by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over all the world. This took place in the days of Claudius. So the disciples determined, everyone according to his ability, to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. And they did so, sending it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. So now Barnabas and Saul were on a kind of mission. Their task was not only to get the word of God out about who Jesus was to the Gentiles, but also that there would be a famine in Jerusalem and the surrounding areas. The church should always be concerned about fellow brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. And when fellow Christians are suffering throughout the world, we should always be praying for them. During this time right now, there are many Christians in the country of Ukraine. And because of the war and conflict, they are suffering. So the church is doing what it can in providing, providing needing supplies. But more importantly, we need to continue to keep them in our prayers, to ask God to keep them safe so that they do not lose the Christian faith nor give in to despair, 
but to realize that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is with them always and that they're never alone and to take comfort in Christ for his shelter and presence. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.